Well, never mind. Your voice. Your voice projects. <laughs> it's like his ball spot. Is that exactly like the first time you ever talked into a mic, huh? Okay, guys, ready? Here we go. Welcome back to Heat Wave Sports on Fox Sports Radio 920. The mug will be Ron Natty, Heat Wave Sports, FSRLBRoss.com. Saturday night, before we get to our special guest, the Eastern Conference NHL Finals underway today in Boston, and it appears that the Tampa Bay Lightning are this year's Cinderella, the fifth seed in the East. Scored three goals today in a minute and 25 second span of the first period on their way to a 5 2 route over the Boston Bruins. They steal home ice advantage and lead that best of seven series in the East, one game to none. Dwayne Rollison, Roley as they call him, 31 saves in the net for the Lightning. And if you remember back just a few short years ago, he single handedly carried the Edmonton Oilers to within a game of the Stanley Cup title, ultimately eventually losing it in a seventh game there. So the 41-year-old netminder still proving strong there with the young kids in Tampa. Game one of the Western Conference Finals begins tomorrow in Vancouver as the top two teams, the Sharks and the Canucks, battle to see who will represent the West in the Stanley Cup Finals. Now, always stuff to do in Las Vegas and always looking to help out friends of ours and show support where we need to. George Damien presents Strip the Play, brand new play coming here to Las Vegas over at Club Aruba. That's 1215 South Las Vegas Boulevard. In fact, opening night will be this Wednesday, May the 18th at 9 o'clock. So I have to bring in our guests from the play itself, not the, the lead, Tara Lynn Phillips, and of course the associate producer and, and a good friend of Heat Wave Sports, Mr. Tim Miller. I appreciate you guys coming in and I'm looking forward to this play Wednesday. Well, it's uh, it's good to be here, and uh, you know, of course, big supporter of, uh, of of Heat Wave Sports. You know, we we we've been uh, uh, we we go back quite a ways. You know, and uh, I, it's so glad I'm so glad to see that you were able to make it into work tonight. Come on now, I knew you were coming down there. That's why I had to take <laughs> take a night off. Oh, I I see, I see. Okay, well, you know, at at, at least uh, at, at least we got you here, and and uh, and wanted to make sure that uh, you know that I brought somebody who was actually like. So much better than than I could ever be to 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 uh, to both look at and to hear. So I mean, you could have brought a homeless guy. Well, <laughs> I've lived with him. I, I'm, I'm telling you, I think we did actually. No, uh, I I actually brought uh, we we brought our actual star for the for strip the play. So uh, we got the, I've got Tara Lynn Phillips right over here next to me, make, making me look good. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> no, well, it's I nice get, to be here. I guess the first question is, you know. The, the simple one is why do you, why should people go see Strip to Play? Why, what about a little background of the story behind it? What is what does this play encompass? And it's kind of funny that we're all involved in the adult industry because it goes that way. But what sets what's going to set this apart from any other show that people can go see here in Las Vegas? Uh, well, well, first of all, I'm in it. Uh, oh, but second question. <laughs> okay, you're I'm turning off the mics right now. <laughs> uh, no, the um, the basic story. It's it's uh, the, well, the first show basically to feature. Uh, uh, the feature actresses stripping down to pasties in an actual strip club environment. Um, it's a it's a murder mystery show, so there's there's actual there's an actual plot. They kill you? No, I don't get killed. Much to your chagrin, I know. All right, just be quiet back there, Armando. Come on, I don't mess with you when I'm working. You know, don't don't mess with me when I'm working. You know, it's I don't come to Burger King and mess with you now. All right, you so, in our world now, baby. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear you. <laughs> Uh, but no, it's it's basically the show is based on um, actual events that have happened uh, to to a lot of us, obviously, uh, throughout the uh, the years in the adult industry. It was written uh, by George Damien, who's also the uh, the director and the producer. And uh, it's it's a it's a really it's a great show. It's a lot of fun. It's very funny, and uh, it has just a little bit of everything. There, there's something for everyone, or or something to offend everyone. I'm sure. <laughs> did he get some insight from you, or did you already have? Uh... Did he already have it written when he came to you? Oh, it, the, the show was already written when I actually missed the audition the first time around. Uh, it was we were slated to open about uh, two years ago, okay. and uh, what wound up happening, uh, unfortunately, the, well, the acting was so good in it that they thought we were a real strip club, so they shut us down. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So that that just attests to the act, and and I can tell you honestly, this cast is is. Even better than the last cast. So if you thought the, like, the acting was good last time, wait, so, I mean, you're wait playing... till you see Tara, man. She's she's awesome up there. So uh, obviously you're playing the DJ. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. DJ Marty. Yes, DJ Marty. That that would be me. 
Mm-hmm. Now, Tara, you play the lead role of America, and I know you were actually in the cast for the L.A. version of this show. How did you come about meeting these characters to do Strip the Play? Uh, I saw the auditions in L.A. last year, and at that time my character was a singer. This year the script changed a little bit, and she's an undercover cop. Um, but last year I'm a singer also, and when I saw that there was a play that involved singing, pole dancing, and acting, I just knew I had to be a part of it. <laughs> So um, I got cast the night that I auditioned and had so much fun. And, yeah, I'm super excited to be in Vegas this year doing it, and the cast is awesome this year. I know the disclaimer says this is a play, not a strip club. The actresses are not strippers. Have you had instances where people have confused you with an actual stripper and then, you know, I've tried to to get you a dance for them or take you home or or do something like that? You're an actress by trade, not a stripper. Exactly. I'm an actress, but I love pole dance and actually teach pole dance. So because I can pole dance, I get cast as a stripper a lot um, in web series and music videos. And so when I'm on set for those kind of things, people are always like, oh, where do you dance? Do you really work here? And I'm like, no, I'm an actress. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, people like Ron. But I always say I'm not a stripper, but I love to play one on TV. (laughs) Another venue, Club Aruba. It's over at the Aruba Hotel and Spa right on Las Vegas Boulevard. You're right between wedding chapels. And, in fact, it's a, a refurbished Aruba, isn't that right, Tim, that you guys have put a lot of work into the outside of the, the building itself? And you showed me the showroom when we went and saw you uh, do another gig there for some karaoke. And that, that place has the makings. And you were very happy about that showroom. I, I personally, I, I think it rivals anything that, uh, that Steve Wynn might have in any of his hotels. They've put so Whoa, much. Layback. It's just, it's really, it, it's really impressive. Yeah, the venue's really good for the show. It's funny. And there's a full bar and half naked woman. What can you not? What can you not love about that? Yeah, it's, it's like a win-win-win situation. See, Tim, we didn't even need you. She just sold the show right there. <laughs> I, yeah, I, well, that's why I'm here, right? Now, anybody interested can go to stripTheplay.com and can actually read a synopsis. You have the cast bios up there, pictures, and all the information about the play itself. It opens this Wednesday, May the 18th, nine o'clock, Club Aruba, 1215 South Las Vegas Boulevard.